Yo, what's good with you? In today's video, I got the how to make Gojo's Limitless slash Infinity technique. It's stuff pretty much is going to be a spear that's temporarily enabled, and if any players are within are making contact with their if players are making contact with it, then they're going to be slowed down so long as they're touching it. When they obviously stop touching it, if it's disabled, whatever the case, then their speed, their walk speed, and jump power will be returned to normal. But yeah, this video was requested to by actually two of my uh, subscriber well no it's been requested by multiple people but it was specifically requested by two subscribers in my discord server which is why i put it on the list but anyway let's let's go ahead and get straight into the video okay so first things first let's go ahead and i guess i'll talk about the sound so infinity so i know this is the sound for gojo's domain expansion but i just chose to use it anyway it doesn't really matter you guys can find the sound go to the toolbox go to audio just type uh gojo and then you'll find it right now let's go ahead let's create our spear right so it's going to be like a pretty much it's going to be a spear the sizing doesn't really matter because we're going to tween the size via the script so the starting size doesn't matter right now if you want to plan out how big you want the spear to be then yeah you could just you know mess around with it but it doesn't really but the starting size doesn't really doesn't really matter but i will say we got we have a lot of properties that we need to work on so first things first, let's set it to transparency to 0 0.5, change the material type to force field, and you guys can change it to color whatever you want. I personally I personally liked the kind of this kind of or or was it white? I think I went with like a white type of color. Right? Like a clear, clear type color. Maybe make it like 0 0.3 or something if you want it to be a little more like you can kind of see it and stuff, right? So, so players can see it, but they can also see through it, right? Then you can name it infinity spear as for the properties of course that can collide the false you don't want it to be anchored because we're going to weld it make sure it is massless because like i said we're going to weld it and then that's it for the properties so then you're going to insert a weld constraint into the infinity spear so type weld constraint then you're going to set part zero equal to the infinity spear and we're going to set part one equal to the player's humanoid root part via the script so once you're done with the infinity spear you can just go ahead and throw that inside the server storage right then we can get to well no before we get into the ui let's go ahead and knock out the remote event so inside of replicated storage let's insert a remote event we can click the plus icon and click remote event just type remote event and search if you don't see it and we can go ahead and name this infinity event right then we can go ahead and create a screen gui instead of starter gui so screen gui you guys can of course name this infinity gui right then we can go ahead and insert a text label. It's not got the text label in the script. So we can go ahead and move this text label like top right. This is optional, by the way. You guys don't have to have this, but yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this infinity. Go ahead and name this infinity text label. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the background transparent. I'm going to make the text bold. And then I'm going to set the text. I'm going to say infinity. I'm going to say infinity, then of course by default it will be disabled. So then I'm going to scale the text to the text color equal to red. We're going to change this uh, depending on the status of the of infinity via the script. So you can just make that red, and then I'm going to just have it have a nice textural. And then I think that's, yeah, I think that's really it for properties. And yeah, then we're going to insert a local script into the infinity GUI. We can go ahead and name this script infinity parentheses or sorry infinity script in parentheses put local right then we can delete print hello world and then first thing you gotta do is just create a couple variables first things first we're gonna get the user input service so local uis is equal to game get service user input service then i'm going to get the infinity remote event so local infinity event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child infinity event and last thing we're going to do is get the local player. So local player is equal to game.players.local player. Then we need to make two functions. For the fun for the first function, we're going to say uis.input began connect function in parentheses put input um, processed. Enter, we're going to say if input that user input type is equal to enum that user input type that keyboard and input that key code is equal to enum that key code that e you guys you guys can choose whatever you guys can choose whatever key binding you want for me i'm gonna go with e 
and lastly processed is equal to is equal to false this means that the player is not typing in chat they're just pressing the key then i'm gonna use an if statement i'm gonna say if player dot player gui dot infinity gui dot infinity text label dot text is equal to infinity infinity on disables pretty much that's what we set it to by default and stuff now the reason why i need this if statement is is because i don't want the player activating infinity while they already have it activated you know what i'm saying and stuff so this is to make sure if the text would only be disabled if of course the ability is disabled so and that's the only time you would want to enable it right so if everything checks out we're going to fire their mode event infinity event fire server in quotation marks you're going to say infinity we're going to enable it then i'm going to set the text we can just copy and paste this so control c all of this and control v right we're going to change the text as well as the color so control v once again remove one equal sign and then set this equal to enabled and then remove this equal sign and then you're and then instead of text you're going to say text color three and then you're going to set this equal to color three dot new then we're looking for um thing we're looking for green which i believe is one zero wait no oh wait no, I'm trying, let me just instead of trying to remember it let me just let me just get it regularly just get it from, just like that then yeah infinity enabled and yeah see so that we are good to go and just say like that we finished the first function let's go ahead and knock out the second function so this will be um the remote event firing from the server back to the client and then for this i'm going to say infinity event the on client event connect function in parentheses and we'll put event type enter and then let's say if event type is equal to infinity cancel which as the name implies or we want the ability to end then i'm going to i'm gonna paste the same thing i had before so control v and then this time we're just changed we're changing the text actually back to disabled because the ability is now disabled so you can just leave that i must have not copied the quotation the last quotation mark but anyway and then you can copy and paste this. Control C, Control V now, do what I was talking about. So this should be one comma zero zero. Give it that red effect. Or you can just click this and then just do red and boom, just like that. And just like that, guys, we've finished all the client side scripting. Let's move on to the uh, server side scripting. I just realized it's not capital L, but anyway. So let's go ahead and insert a server script inside of server script service. So server script, then I'm gonna say inf infinity script in parentheses server right then i'm going to delete print hello world we're going to get some services first let me get the tween service local ts is equal to game get service tween service then i'm going to get the sound service local ss is equal to game oh, i mean two equal signs is equal to game get service sound service then lastly let me get the debris service local ds equal to game get service debris right then I'm going to get the infinity remote event, local infinity event is equal to game, the replicated storage, wait for child, infinity event. I'm going to say infinity, I say infinity event that on server events, connect function, in parentheses, put PLR register for the player, then event type, enter. I'm going to say if event type is equal to infinity, enter. We can uh, skip a line right here, and then we're going to Create a variable for the player's character so say local character is equal to player dot character right now back to the event i'm going to clone over the infinity part from server storage i'm gonna say local infinity clone is equal to game that server storage not wait for child sorry that infinity spear clone right then i'm gonna say infinity clone infinity I need to pay attention. I really, but sorry guys, I'm this one the one I'm looking at there. Anyway, infinity clone pivot to character that humanoid root part that C frame, right? And after we we pivot it and they're going to parent it to the workspace. So parent workspace. And lastly, I'm going to set the world constraint. So world constraint dot part one is what I was talking about earlier, is equal to character dot humanoid root part, right? Once we have that set up, we're then going to set up the first tween. <clears throat> so I'm going to say local tween is equal to ts create infinity clone comma tween info dot new one second enum dot easing style dot linear comma enum dot easing direction dot out then go in between the parentheses 
comma, and then in special brackets to create a property table. And then I'm going to say size equal to vector three dot new. And then for me, I'm going to say 26 comma 26 26. You guys can go with whatever set of numbers you want. That's completely up to you, but I'm just going to go with that. Yeah, you guys can mess around with the time, the easing style, the direction, the size, whatever. That's up to you guys. It may not look good if you don't know what you're doing. It may not turn out well, but if you do know what you're doing, you can go ahead and mess with that. That's all up to you. Then, of course, at the end, I'm going to play the tween. Then I'm going to say ss.infinity.time position, making sure it's starting. It's starting at the beginning. Then I'm going to say ss.infinity play. You know, play the sound effects. Then I'm going to set up the effect function. So I'm going to say infinity clone.touched connect function in parentheses put hit. Then do if hit dot parent find first child humanoid. <clears throat> Now, I will say, when I was testing it, right, when I was testing it, it was not, it didn't slow my player down. I will say that, like, it didn't slow my player down and stuff, so it wasn't counting it as, like, being touched and stuff. I'm guessing because it's welded and stuff. So, I'm not going to leave a check, but listen, if you're, if you're experiencing an issue where, like, how do I explain this? If you're experiencing an issue where, like, the player who's using Infinity, using the ability, is also being affected, and stuff like they're being slowed down all you got to do is just do and hit the parent dot name nil equal to character dot name or player dot name either one will work right so you can just you can just add that in just in case that's going on but yeah anyway then we're going to say hit that parent that humanoid uh, walk speed is equal to two you guys can set these values to whatever you want this is just what i just had to go with then hit that parent that humanoid dot jump power is equal to two and yeah, then we can copy and paste this. So control C, control V, and then this time it is touch ended. Then you guys can set it back to whatever the default walk speed and jump power is. So 16 and 50, the default. Then we can go on the outside of the functions and we can say task that wait three seconds. Again, once, once again, that is up to you guys for how long you want to do it. But for me, I found three seconds was good. Task that wait three seconds, right? And then after those three seconds, I'm going to play another tween. So once again, save some time. Control C, Control V. Then this time it's going to be in. And then we're setting it equal to zero. We want it to pretty much just disappear. All right. Then after the tween is playing, I'm going to fire their mode event. Infinity event fire client player. Then in quotation marks, I'm going to say infinity cancel so that you know it ends probably should name the infinity end or something but it doesn't really matter then i'm say ds add item infinity clone comma one second because that's when we want it to be destroyed right but yeah let's go ahead and test this and see if everything works um as always if you guys want access to my scripts or models you guys can come either a channel member or a discord subscriber links to both of those options can be found in the description you only need to choose one shout out to all my discord subscribers and channel members i really do appreciate all you guys and stuff but anyway uh let me go ahead and test this so if i press e you guys see this you guys hear the sound you see the spear expands as well as it comes back to me and then you see infinity enabled and then let's see uh, i'm gonna enable it again and i must watch his walk speed and power yep there we go Everything seems to be working so far. If anybody's experiencing any issues, any bugs or anything, um, or if you have any general su suggestions to improve it, for sure let me know in the comments. I can definitely hit you guys with a part two. I can definitely add more things, more effects and everything. It all just depends on how well the video does. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and stuff. Leave a comment letting me know you enjoyed the video and that you want a part two and I got y'all for sure. Stuff. So if you need help with this script or any of my other any of my other scripts then you can join the discord server link is in the description and you can also join my roblox group link is also in the description thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video